Hi, my name is Natalie. Welcome to Fitfully Vintage. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a classic vintage inspired pin up, half up, half down do. It is a classic, so don't go anywhere. Just before we dive into that, though, I'd like to show my appreciation of you by showing you this comment of the week by TX Nurse Patty. Thank you so much for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. And story of the week is by Beautiful Brie over at Pim Frisker on Instagram. If you would like to be included in comment or story of the week, then you can comment down below just underneath this video or indeed tag me in your stories at fitfully.vintage over on insta thank you so much there are three things i would love you to click one is the subscribe button for regular updates the second is the notification bell so you are updated every time i upload something and third thing is a link in the space underneath this video it's a freebie that i've created a cheat sheet for this hairstyle so you can peruse it at your leisure and not have to re-watch the video a thousand times i thought that might be quite easy for you anyway i hope you enjoy the video here is the beautiful finished star, just in case you were wondering, but it nearly, nearly didn't happen. You will find out where I say. Oh my God. Yeah, uh, something bad happens, but uh, don't worry, we fix it all. Anyway, this is the end style, isn't it pretty? Perfectly pin up. Okay, so what you're gonna do is uh, make a nice deep side parting in your hair. I've chosen to make mine to the left, but that's just generally where my parting is. And then you, from the crown of your head, where your parting meets the crown of your head, you're going to take a line down to the opposite corner of your forehead, if you have a square forehead, which you don't, but you're gonna take it down to the opposite side of your forehead. And then again, down from this line to just in front of your ear, clip away your back section of hair and you're gonna create a very similar side um, parting on the other side of your head. So in essence, you have now, well not in essence, actually you have three sections of hair at the front. I'm going to back comb um, the first section, just making nice C-shape motions more to the root of this section than through the ends, but you will want to back comb through the ends ultimately also. This is going to give your victory roll stability. So spray and then back comb, concentrating on the roots, but finally working up just a quick kind of zhuzh through the ends just to give a bit of stability. On your very last piece of hair, the one nearest to your ear, you're not going to back comb on the underside, only on that top side, because you want a nice smooth yeah, not there. You want a nice smooth kind of piece of hair that will look nice and neat. So brush it up. These back combing brushes or smoothing brushes are fabulous. I'm going to put a link to my how to roll victory rolls six different ways video and you will see that I am doing one of those methods here. But you can choose any method you like to roll your victory rolls. And I'm just nestling that nice little swirl down towards my head and I'm going to pin with bobby pins. Um, hopefully so that you can't see them so one from the back one from the front usually will do fine um, but it just depends how thick your hair is how thin your hair is um, we'll, you know there we go I need another one at the front to kind of hold that swirl solidly okay lovely Right, you're gonna repeat this on the other side. Inch wide sections and back combing more to the root and then up through the ends. And again. I find splitting into three is, is fine for this. I tried to do it in two then, but it wasn't enough. You want stability so that your rolls aren't sagging through the day. The last thing you need is saggy rolls. Again, just flipping the hair over halfway down the shaft and rolling the curl around before pinching and rolling down towards my head. If that sounds very confusing, please do not worry. Like I said, follow the link to my Victory Rolls video. I will put a card in this video just up to the top, top, um, top right uh, and also a link underneath. So don't worry. Six different ways to roll Victory Rolls. You've got many choices and just a little bit of practice and you'll be a master. My hands go so shaky when I do these victory rolls. I'm like, there's something wrong with me. <laughs> there's not. And pinning again uh, to the back and to the front, just to hold that swirl in place. Try and always poke your bobby pins into your style. 
as opposed to across because they then hide themselves you don't have to do as much work okay so they're a little bit asymmetrical but that's fine we'll we'll go with it now the front section you can see I'm growing out my um, fringe here so it's a little bit tricky to incorporate it into the roll but I'm following exactly the same method halfway down the hair and then flipping the curl around so that the curl of the ends of my hair forms the swirl and then I pinch it and move it down towards my hairline and bobby pin in place again from behind as much as possible so the bobby pins aren't visible and from the front also oh I've done it from the front first okay look I can see that bobby pin there now um now here's the here's the start of my downfall I'm trying to smooth the roll in with the victory roll to my right hand side um and I'm sure there's some kind of saying about just leaving it alone you just need to leave it alone when it looks okay Oh, oh, oh. oh no did I honestly just ruin it oh my god so just like a prize banana I completely mucked up that front roll a comment fail in the comment section down below if this has ever happened to you no worries though I just redid the front roll in exactly the same fashion as before and everything turned out fine I'm just adding a nice hair flower that I made if you're interested please contact me I should be getting them up online soon um, and yeah I'm really happy with the result ultimately I think it's good Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that you liked the video, don't forget to click the like button if you did so that I know I'm on the right track. Remember the cheat sheet you can access through the link underneath this uh, video here for step by step instructions as to how com to complete this hairstyle perfectly every time. Thank you again for watching, see you soon, bye. A link for your cheat sheet, <sighs> perfectly every time. Wow, that funny accent. <laughs> Step as to how to... Oh. <sighs> Cheat sheet for this video hairstyle uh, track. Also remember that cheat sheet through... Oh. Thanks Arthur.